Good morning, Slayers. All right, so we are going to get into our, well, our, my um, budget for my first paycheck of July. Um, I can't believe how fast this year is going by. And we just have a good old fashioned cup of OJ right here because I have like a summer cold or something. Like the whole house does. And it is just, it is no bueno. Like, I don't know if it's allergies or what it is, but it has got to stop. Like, Lord, please make it stop. All right, so I have written everything down already, all my categories, you know, the mellow highlighter thing to, like, speed this along. Because <laughs> I really do try to not make long videos. I really, really try, but it just, it never happens that way. But okay, so we're just going to jump right into it. Um, so my main paycheck, I am getting $802.77. Um, and we dish out bills first. And then sinking funds and cash envelopes gets whatever is left over. So my car insurance is due on the 25th. And that is $156. Um, my Merit credit card. I think I had just got this credit card. And I had to use it to pay for um, airfare. Because me and the boys are going back home to Jersey in July. So I had to pay for those tickets. Um, and online it says that I don't owe a payment right now. But I just want to put a payment on it anyways. So we're going to put $100 onto my Merrick credit card. And then for Indigo, that is getting $50. Since I put extra money on it for my last paycheck, I technically don't owe anything, but I want to be like consumer debt free. That is my goal, is to get consumer debt free. So I'm trying to just pay off these credit cards so that I can just leave them to sit in my wallet and then maybe like use them occasionally to get like a Snickers or something. Okay, and then so the next, it's not really a credit card, like I don't have a physical card, but uh, my finger head account um, is getting $65. And I always try to put more than the minimum payment that's due. So technically, my minimum payment for a finger head is only $50, but I'm just going to throw some extra money onto it because, again, trying to be consumer debt free. All right, and then for Netflix, that is getting usual $13.99 and then Disney as we discussed in prior videos even though we have paid off the cruise I'm still putting away money for it like we didn't for like all the extra curriculars and spending money and such so that's $163 and then aftercare technically it's not my week to pay for the boys aftercare but I still like to separate my payment for the week that is my week into two paychecks so I'm not having to pull it out of one. So that is getting $53. Okay, and so 156 plus 100 plus 50 plus 65 plus 13.99 plus 163 plus 53 comes to a grand total of Six hundred dollars and ninety-nine cents. So we go all the way down here. Um, all right. So bill total six hundred ninety-nine, uh, which leaves us with a leftover of two hundred one dollars and seventy-eight cents. Yes. Okay, and then so our 201.78 is what we have to work with to dispense into our cash envelopes and sinking funds. So not everything will be getting stuffed when I do get my paycheck on Friday, which is a-okay. I've learned to be okay with that. 
There is nothing wrong with not being able to stuff all your envelopes. It took me a while to come to that conclusion, but it is A-OK. -okay. So 201, 78. Um, gas, I'm looking pretty good on gas right now, so that's only going to get 25. Still have money on my gas card. Groceries, only going to get 30. And that's going to be like for the days where I don't feel like cooking and I need to go to work and I need to pick up my lunch there or stuff like that. That'll be what that goes for. And I'm sorry if y'all hear me sniffling and stuff, but my nose is so stuffed up. It is so hard to breathe and talk at the same time. Oh. Like, I don't get how sicknesses work. My nose is stuffed up, but my nose will not stop running. Like, please pick a struggle. Because you cannot do both. Um, Self-care is getting $15. Household is getting nothing. Right. Uh, miscellaneous is getting ten dollars. Tom Tom and Theo are getting their usual ten. Back to school is getting its usual forty. Um, and beauty is getting fifteen. And then we come over here, new house, that is getting nothing, new car is getting nothing, um, and retirement is getting 25, I'm so close to my thousand dollar goal y'all, so close, I can taste it, um, car maintenance getting nothing, emergency nothing, travel, it's going to get ten dollars. Um, business is getting nothing. Birthdays is getting nothing, even though Theo's birthday is July second. I still have enough money put away for that to get give him a little gift and whatever he wants his little birthday to be. Um, Black Friday and Christmas, they are each going to get Black Friday gets five dollars and Christmas is getting six and that should soak up the rest of the 201 dollars which will leave us with a balance of 78 cents if i did my math correctly so yeah that is my budget for this first paycheck of july um, let me write the paycheck date which is the 25th so june So as of right now, this is where my budget is standing for my first paycheck, my last paycheck of June. I feel like I said July earlier. My bad, y'all. It's for my last paycheck of June. This is how my budget stands. And unless money magically falls from the heavens, this is pretty much how it's going to stay. So yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and making things happen for ourselves. I said it right this time. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. And I'm going to enjoy my orange juice and try to breathe. <laughs> Alright, bye.